Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply negative whole numbers and fractions. And really, multiplying negative whole numbers and fractions is the same process as multiplying positive whole numbers and fractions. We multiply straight across. The only difference, we need to make sure we have the correct sign for our product. Now the rules for multiplying positive and negative integers apply to fractions as well. So multiplying different signs will equal a negative result, meaning different signs, positive times a negative or negative times a positive will give us a negative result. On the other hand, if we multiply the same signs, we will get a positive result, meaning positive times positive or negative times negative. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have two times negative seven ninths. Now again, we need to multiply straight across. So what we need to do with the two is put it in fractional form. And we do that by putting it over one. So two over one. Now we have a numerator and a denominator and we can multiply straight across. So times negative seven ninths. Multiply straight across. Two times negative seven is negative 14. And then one times nine is nine. So we have negative 14 ninths, negative 14 over nine. Now that's an improper fraction, so let's convert it to a mixed number. And we do this by dividing our numerator by the denominator. So we have negative 14 divided by nine. Now we can think of that negative 14 as a positive for now. So how many whole groups of nine out of 14? Well, one. We do not hit 14 exactly. We have a remainder of five. We keep our denominator of nine the same. Now we had a negative divided by a positive. So different signs, that gives us a negative result. Now five ninths, always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part that is in simplest form. So we are done. Negative one and five ninths. So we had a positive two times a negative seven ninths. We multiplied different signs there. And we know that when we multiply different signs, that will give us a negative result. So negative one and five ninths. Now I do wanna mention before moving on to number two, that you may see negative fractions written slightly different, but they mean the same exact thing. So for example, let me rewrite our problem as two times negative seven ninths. So the negative out in front. Same process, two times seven is 14, one times nine is nine, and this is a positive times a negative, different sign, so we know this is going to be negative, and then we convert to the mixed number, which we know is negative one and five ninths. So the negative may be out in front of the fraction, that means the same thing as our original problem. You may also see, let me write up top here, the negative with the denominator. That means the same thing as well. The only thing we cannot do is put the negative with both the numerator and denominator. Because remember, fractions represent division. So this would be negative seven divided by negative nine. We have the same signs there, so that actually equals positive seven ninths. So something to keep in mind that negative fractions can be written slightly different, but they mean the same thing. So we can put the negative sign out in front, we can put it with the numerator, or we can put it with the denominator, just not both the numerator and denominator. Let's move on to number two, where we have negative eight times negative four tenths. We have a negative times a negative, so we know that we are going to have a positive result. Let's multiply straight across. So we'll put the negative eight over one, so we have a numerator and a denominator. Let's bring down our negative four tenths, and we can multiply straight across. So negative eight times negative four gives us a positive 32, and then one times 10 
is 10. So we get 32 tenths or 32 over 10, which is an improper fraction. So we need to convert to a mixed number. We do this by dividing our numerator by the denominator. So 32 divided by 10. How many whole groups of 10 can we pull out of 32? Well, three, that gets us to 30. We do not hit 32 exactly. So we have a remainder and that remainder is two. And then we keep our denominator of 10 the same. So three and two tenths, and this is positive. Now we can simplify our fractional part two tenths. We have a common factor of two. So let's divide each of these by two and we get three, two divided by two is one, 10 divided by two is five. So our final simplified answer is three and one fifth. And remember, that's a positive three and one fifth. We had a negative times a negative, which same sign, that's going to give us a positive result. So there you have it. There's how you multiply negative whole numbers and fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.